Okay, we're back with lesson four, quadratic equations. I know a lot of times this gives people some trouble, but we're going to go over it. So there's two methods to do the quadratic equation to solve them. Either complete the square or to solve with the quadratic equation. Okay, sometimes you can factor, which is easy. Like if we had an equation like x squared minus 4, we can factor that, and that's x minus 2, x plus 2, and then our answer is 2 and negative 2. But a lot of times we can't, especially on these questions on the exam that involve the quadratic equation. So in order to solve these, we have to set the equation equal to 0 and make it conform to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The first method is completing the square. I don't recommend using this method on the exam, ever. It's usually going to take you at least twice as long, and it, it, it winds up being much more difficult. So step one, we can skip in this example since the coefficient of x squared is 1. All right, And the problem is x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0. So the a value, okay, that, 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 that's 1, so we could skip that. Step two is move the number term to the right side of the equation. So we're taking that 1 and we're moving it to the right-hand side becomes a negative one. x squared plus 4x equals negative one. Step three, complete the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same number to the right side of the equation. So what we're doing now is we're taking that, we have our x squared plus 4x equals negative one. We're trying to complete the square to figure out, okay, how do we get to, uh, how, how do we get to, uh, how do we balance out the equation? So b divided by 2 squared is equal to 4 divided by 2 squared equal to 2 squared equal to 4. Okay? Next, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 1 plus 4. And x plus 2 squared equals 3. Step four, we're going to take the square root on both sides of the equation. x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 3, which is equal to plus or minus 1.73. Subtract 2 from both sides. 1.73 minus 2 is negative 3.73. And negative 0.27. The problem's off mathisfun.com. I couldn't come up with the completing the square problem because, honestly, I've never had to do this ever. I always use the quadratic equation. So just going back and looking it over, what we're doing, we're taking that b value, that 4, and we plugged it in because there wasn't an a value. So after we rearranged the equation to put the number on the right side, we plugged in and we put that b value in. Okay, we put that in. There's no a value. All right, we completed the square. Okay, so then it's 4 divided by 2 squared equals 2 squared equals 4, and we, sub, we substitute in, okay, square root of both sides, we, we rearrange it again, subtract 2 from, from both sides. Now let's get into the quadratic equation, this is what you're probably going to use. x equals negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac over 2a. Remember the form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So if we're given the equation x squared equals 3x minus 1, solve. How about we solve that? I'll give you a hint. b equals negative 3. So solve that using the quadratic equation. Okay, I'll give you a moment to pause the video. You can press the space bar at any time to pause the video, and I'll give you the opportunity to do that right now. Okay, we're back. So what we need to do plug in the proper formula. Okay, actually, you know what, I'll give you, I'll give you another second if you, if you want to try it now, now that I wrote out the A, B, and C, in case you were a little confused, and I put the equation in the upper right-hand corner, so you could see that and plug it in yourself. So I'll give you another moment if you want to press the space bar to work through it if you couldn't figure it out before. Okay, we're back. So it's not in the right form. All right, so we have to change it. x squared, 
when we had our, uh, we looked at it before, x squared equals 3x minus 1. That's not in the right form. It has to be in that form, ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to rearrange the equation. It's x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Remember, that's the form it has to be. We see that in the, the top of our screen is also written, ax squared plus bx plus c. So our a is 1, that's the coefficient of x squared. Our b is negative 3, that's the coefficient of negative 3x. Our c is the plus 1. And now we plug it into that quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. We plug it in, and here we go, x equals the negation of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of 9, minus 4. We got that 9 from negative 3 squared. Negative 3 is b. b squared, negative 3 squared is 9, minus 4 ac. a is 1, c is 1. And we divide the whole thing by 2a, which would be 2 times a, which is 1. So then we reduce everything, and we get... 3, which is the negation of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, So 3 plus or minus 2.24 divided by 2. And then first we do the addition, then we do sub the subtraction. 3 plus 2.24 divided by 2. That's 5.24 divided by 2 equals 2.62. Now we do the subtraction. 3 minus 2.24 divided by 2 equals 0.76 divided by 2 equals 0.38. So our values for the answer of x is 2.618 and 0.3820. I used a calculator to figure that out, so it made a little more sense. But that's just a rounding difference. But you see how that makes a lot more sense, a real lot more sense. You could just plug in the things. You look at that equation, ax squared plus bx plus c. We have to make it equal to that and make it equal to 0, of course. As we noted, that's the proper form. We plug it in. We solve, and we're good. Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And look at what the a value, the b value, the c value is. Plug it into that quadratic formula, which is in the top right of the screen, and work through it. Okay, and that's it for this lesson and this domain. I'm going to see you next time in geometry.